All right, good afternoon. It is about 4 o'clock on Monday, July 17th. Over the garage for a couple hours this evening uh, to try to keep addressing the lower A post here. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, so today I'm going to fix this spot here. Uh, if you remember my last video, there should be a little uh, flange that comes out here. Got to try to replace some of these holes over here. So I essentially I'm just going to cut. I think uh, out most if not all of that in there and uh, and weld that in got a text from somebody and then I will address the A post uh, and again the, the trick is going to be getting under here and getting these attachments right uh, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to get a uh, a clamp in there and then if I can get that done and get the, at least the A post at least uh, tacked in I'm going to replace my uh, support here take a bunch of measurements and I got these angle pieces here and I'm going to weld them to the inside of the door so I can do some door fitment while adjusting my sill um, so we'll see how far I get um, pretty sure I'll be able to get this peach piece patched in and uh, should be able to get hopefully the a post at least tacked in and then uh, then we'll go from there All right made some progress it's uh, 7 30 now so uh, what three and a half hours or so uh, I'll show you here so I added a piece into there you can still see the seam a little bit um, like I've already said kind of before I expect all this stuff to be covered in one way or another so whatever's not covered then I'll go back and worry about but for now I'm just getting attacked in um, this one here is a little even bad for my taste but um, that's that lip that I was telling about. So I essentially made a, a um, uh, almost like a ball cap brim. So this this uh, lip here is welded to this cross piece, and then I just cut that straight across and kind of fared that in. Um, it lines up, but it's uh, pretty ugly. Um, no other repairs under here. Just kind of kept that prepped. And then for the bottom A post, I've hit it with. Uh, weldable primer already drilled the holes that I had forgotten um, to get the uh, the supports that are internal to the B pillar get them on there and I welded that piece in here for a new lip a new front on that that's probably the best weld that I've done <coughs> excuse me um, well, I don't know to date uh, pretty much uh, pretty happy with the seams and how they worked out so I'm just waiting for this to this primer to dry uh, and then I'll fit everything up, and we'll go from there. Hopefully, we can uh, we can get attacked in tonight. I, I'm not quite sure. I've only got about uh, about 30 more minutes or so that I'm going to work tonight. Got a uh, big deep sea fishing trip tomorrow that I'm taking the boys on, so I'll probably uh, I expect that we'll probably do okay tomorrow. So I'm sure I'll post some pictures of that. Um, but I got to get you know 5 a.m. comes early. I got to get lunch ready. So there you go. And uh, if I make any more significant progress, I'll check back tonight. All right, so as promised, so if I got anywhere special, I would uh, do a quick video update. So I was able to get the bottom A post tacked in. So I got at least a couple uh, spot welds at the, essentially the corners. Uh, this one here broke on me as it was cooling off. So that, of course, makes me question all the rest of my welds. But... Um, you can see all the holes that I put in this thing, so I'm hoping that uh, just sheer numbers will keep everything together. Uh, these ones underneath are going to be pretty painful to get. I don't. I have to lay on my back, I guess, to do that. Um, got a couple on the front here. You can kind of see. I don't know if you can. No, not really. Let me bring some light in. I've got a not a pretty. Um, you know overlap there and everything so I intend to just take the grinding wheel as, as the stuff fits up and kind of trim it in um, but then the inside everything looks okay in here uh, you can see that the bottom part there I ground that down I got a couple spots on that and then all of these are going to get essentially tacked in as um, as I come from bot come from behind there in the bottom um, I'll get all these back here but uh, but yeah so all the measurements I double checked all my measurements again again from my uh, alphanumeric points there 
and everything's still lined up. Nothing had changed. So um, I'm pretty happy. Didn't get everything done that I wanted to get done, of course, because I didn't get this uh, this the support um, column redone. But uh, but it's 8:30, and uh, I got to get ready to go fishing tomorrow. So have a good night. Cheers.